One of Europe's best citizenships is about to get easier. Today, I'm going to tell you what Germany is doing to open up its dual citizenship rules and help you get one of the world's best citizenships faster. We've been telling you this for some time now. The one benefit of the more left-leaning German government that was recently elected into power, yes, they want to make your tax situation worse, but the one benefit is they are more open to immigration. Their view is they want people who are living in Germany to have a faster track to citizenship. They want to make it easier to be deemed integrated into German society, and they also want to ease the dual citizenship rules in Germany. And so historically, Germany frowned on dual citizenship. If you were born with it, you know, I have a friend who's German-Swiss based on parents, they would allow some of those things. If you went to court and you got an exemption, hey, I'm living in this country, uh, I really love it here, my spouse is from here, you could go through basically the system and you could get a waiver. But by and large, Germans were not really allowed to have dual citizenship the way most people in the Western world were allowed to, and that is going to change. If you are German and you're looking to have a backup citizenship, which I think is important if you're successful, that's good news because historically, some of the easier citizenship by investment programs were more difficult to get approval for. And so you're gonna have the opportunity to have an insurance policy against Germany and against the EU if you think that there's gonna be challenges in the future, and if you're willing to move to Germany, you'll have an easier chance to get one of the world's best citizenships. I'm Andrew Henderson. I'm the founder of Nomad Capitalist. We have spent the last decade helping over a thousand high and ultra high net worth individuals from all around the world legally reduce their taxes overseas, improve their freedom with dual citizenship, and grow their opportunities by looking at everything the world has to offer, not just what's happening in their own country. And you can learn more at nomadcapitalist.com. Now, I will caution you that to get German citizenship, you're going to have to go and live in Germany. It is going to become not only faster and potentially easier, but also cheaper in that if you are a successful entrepreneur or investor and you move to Germany, now all of your companies, now all of your investments are going to be taxed in Germany. If you're an American, there is a tax treaty. You have to work out to make sure that everything is running smoothly. If you're not an American, you'll simply leave your country's tax net and pay taxes in Germany. The taxes in Germany aren't low. And so for someone who maybe is just starting out and you like the idea of going to Germany, it could be a place where you go and get a residence permit. It is generally harder for investors and passive investors uh, and entrepreneurs to get residence permits. And again, if, even if you started a business in Germany, you're going to be talking about paying high taxes. So understand that getting German citizenship involves living there, working there, having a business there. You're going to pay taxes because you're going to have to be living there. You're going to have to be a tax resident. And so, you know, if you're making uh, you know, a million dollars a year, it might cost you $450,000 a year in taxes. The full, you know, five, six years it might take you to get citizenship. If they make it shorter, you're going to be paying millions of dollars. You know, you have to look at your time value of money and say, if I went to Malta and donated 750,000 euros now and got citizenship in about 18 months with the same benefits of being able to live anywhere I want in Europe and traveling on a high quality EU passport, would that be a better deal? These are the kind of questions that we ask our clients when they come looking for holistic advice because I don't want you to pay millions of dollars to get a citizenship because you think that that's the only one you need. There are other ways to get other European citizenships, but certainly Germany has one of the best. I would say it's probably down to Germany and Ireland. Uh, Ireland, I suppose, you know, who hates the Irish, right? Who hates the Germans, really? Maybe somebody. But I would argue the two best citizenships in Europe are Ireland, who hates the Irish? They have the ability to live in the UK as well, which other EU citizens don't. And Germany technically has the strongest passport in terms of the number of countries that you can visit. It's only one or two or three more than other European countries, so it's not a big deal. But you can pretty much go anywhere in the world. And if you're an American who doesn't want to be an American in the future, that's what some people are looking for. I mean, Germany is an extremely strong passport. So let me share an article with you from I Am Expat, and this will explain to you what the German government wants to do. Again, left-leaning governments, they want to raise your taxes, they want to make life more difficult in other ways, but they're generally in favor of faster citizenship. And so you have to take the good with the bad. As a part of the major overhaul of the country's immigration policy, the German traffic light coalition government has set a date to debate a draft law that would allow dual citizenship for residents. Until now, the prospect of dual German citizenship seemed impossible for many of the country's migrants. But the, uh, it was announced in an exclusive article that the Bundestag will debate a new draft law which would allow dual citizenship, which means any 
any non-EU nationality immigrant could be able to naturalize as a German citizen without having to sacrifice their other citizenship. The new law would also minimize the time that non-German nationals have to wait before beginning the naturalization process. The timeline is expected to be reduced from eight years, which is what Germany had, not the longest in Europe, Switzerland's longer, Liechtenstein's longer, some of the smaller countries are longer, Andorra's longer, but you've got a lot of countries where it's, it's five years or it's seven years, so Germany was a little bit longer at eight. They're looking at reducing it from eight to five years, which I kind of think is basically the floor in the European Union. There was a time about a decade ago where Belgium, there was an expedited process. It wasn't as guaranteed as the longer process, but you could potentially get citizenship in as little as three years. And then they changed that. And I've kind of had the feeling that Europe has this policy, written or unwritten, of where it's like, okay, five years, let's not make it easier. So now they're gonna go down to five years. That's in line with a lot of other countries where it's relatively flexible. In some cases where applicants prove that they're integrated into German society and can certify German language proficiency, they would be able to apply for naturalization just three years after living and working in Germany. You will need to learn German and the standard is higher than other countries. So you look at like Portugal's golden visa program, for example, the standard is more conversational to be naturalized through uh, that program than it is, than it will be in Germany. They're gonna want you to speak pretty decent German because they want you to be integrated. And so again, if I'm creating a holistic plan for someone that's working with Nomad Capitalist, I'm gonna ask, are you willing to learn another language? And if it's like, no, I'm not gonna learn a language to proficiency, then places like Germany are going to work for you. Maybe even a Portugal golden visa is not going to work for you. Maybe you just need to go to Malta directly, English speaking country. You don't need to learn the language regardless. Make your donation, off you go. Um, and so these are the kinds of things that we figure out when someone's saying, hey, I want to move overseas. I want to reduce my taxes. I want to get dual citizenship. So I've got a backup plan or I'm an American who just, I just want to be done with the US. These are the kind of questions you have to ask yourself. And I see too many people saying, oh, let me move to Germany and not realizing what they're getting themselves into. Taxes, language, etc. cetera. Uh, the government said, we want people who live with us, who have integrated well logistically, legally, economically, and culturally, who contribute to our society's success and fulfill their responsibilities to also have the associated rights and make them a permanent offer of integration, i.e. through citizenship. They literally said, we want people to be able to naturalize quickly. Quote, unquote, naturalize quickly. That's what the uh, FDP uh, member, one of the committee members told the local in Germany. Uh, Angela Merkel's Christian Democrats were historically against this. They wanted to go against the Western trend of moving towards dual citizenship, which you've seen in the last 20, 30 years. Countries that didn't, didn't allow dual now allow dual. Now, there's no set uh, date when the law would come into effect, but basically they're saying that long-term residents, um, yeah, they're, they're looking forward to this. So um, obviously what you see with a lot of this news is folks who are talking to employees. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, and it is, again, Germany is not the number one destination where you can go and start a business and get a residence and then just come on in. It is possible. Uh, there's not really a clean cut, passive investment way. There is kind of an investment route to get into Germany, but it's, it's more involved than let's say a, you know, a typical golden visa, whether it's in Portugal or Greece or Latvia or Ireland or any of those places where it's more hands off. And so, Germany for most people is not going to be a place that you're going to want to go again because if you um, are only going to spend part time there, if you're living my trifecta lifestyle, that's not going to work for naturalization. You're going to need to pay a whole lot of taxes. And so unless you really love Germany, which is possible, I mean, there's so many other places to choose from. Why would you choose a place that has such high taxes and has some of the regulations and all that? Uh, but if you're already living in Germany for some reason, this is good. The real good news that I see from this again is if you're already German, Forget how long it takes to be naturalized, you will have more flexibility to go out and get a second passport. Up until now, we've, ch we've told Germans, if you have some claim to second citizenship somewhere else, okay, let's try and push it through this, this year-long plus process to get you an exception. But we've often said, just get permanent residence somewhere. And if Germany ever opens up, then you can go and claim that. So get permanent residence, like get residence in Mexico, for example the clock starts ticking, you'll eventually get permanent residence, or in some cases you can go right to permanent residence. And then later, after the clock is ticked, tuck, ticked, tuck, you can go and you can spend a couple of years in Mexico and you can claim that citizenship, knowing that the time you needed to spend without staying there has already passed. That was the advice that we were giving to folks from, let's say, Germany. I would still go to some of the, in the Netherlands, like set something up where the time is passing. Now you could go directly potentially under this new dual citizenship law and say, hey, you know what? I just want to get citizenship of the Caribbean. So now I've got a country that is tax-free potentially. 
where it's a small country, they don't want to bother me, and I have citizenship in the economic engine of Europe, and it's a strong passport, but I know that if Germany ever decides to, let's say, tax me if I leave Germany, and they just want to tax me no matter where I live, I am protected, and I'm ready to uh, push back on that. Uh, if Germany ever does something that I don't agree with, if the reputation of Germany ever suffers, whatever, I've got another option. That's what I really find interesting about this. And so good news out of Germany, probably not a place that most people want to move, but it will be good for Germans. And if you are living there, it'll be good news for you too.